Um, so I just went and voted over across the street with my father. He came and picked me up. We went and voted. And um, here's my proof. I don't know where to put it. Maybe here, maybe here. Nowhere. Um, and um, yeah, I just went and voted. I wasn't gonna vote. Like even up until a few weeks ago, I was like, should I vote? Like, is, does this matter? But then I was like, Donald Trump has gotten really, really dangerously close to becoming the, our president. Maybe I should get my black ass out here and just like exercise my right and do everything that I can in my power to make sure he does not win. And um, so that's what I did today. Uh, you know, on the way over there, my dad was, he was kind of talking. He was like, I can't remember any election ever that has divided the country this much. And he's 56 years old. My dad is old. 56 years old, and he's talking about, it's just sad, you know what I mean? Like, why was it, why do so many people have, like, just this awful fucking taste in their mouth from this election? Yes, every every presidential election, it, it gets annoying in this country, it does, you know, so many ads, uh, it's this, 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 this back and forth ads talking about this person, talking about that person, what they did a hundred years ago. That wasn't even, it's not even relevant to anything. Um, bringing up shit, you know, that happened fucking decades ago. That's like, who fucking cares? That happens every four years in this country. But this time around, for some reason, it was just, people are drained so fucking tired, and it, I, I, I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say that it's because of one person, one person that's running is the reason behind all of this, um, I'm not gonna get super fucking deep into the shit, because like I said, I'm not a political person, despite, you know, coming from a military family, I'm a military brat, and I'm an Air Force brat, both parents were in the Air Force, my brother is currently in the Air Force, and but I never really have been super political or compelled uh, to talk about politics or anything like that. But, I, uh, you know, I went out there today, did my little thing. It took no time. There was no line. I thought there was going to be the super mega line wrapped around the fucking school. It's, we voted at an elementary school. The school was closed today. I think all schools were closed today in the country. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But... There was no one in there. I went in there and showed my ID and like, he was like, this is your first time voting? I'm like, no, honey, I'm 26 years old. I voted before. I'm old. Um, and uh, went and did it. Filled in my little thing with the black ink. Filled in the bubbles. Put it in the machine and that was it. It took seven minutes. It took no time at all. And um, yeah, hopefully the right person will win. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to get super deep into it. Like, come on. We, we all fucking know who the fuck is, 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 should win and who shouldn't win. Like, let's be fucking real here. We're not retarded. And I don't even like to use that word, but we're not fucking special needs. Um, Pokemon. Pokemon slow. Pokemon ho. Pokemon, yo, um, I guess I'll talk about that. I have been playing, I have been playing. I cannot say that I have been walking as much as I was earlier this summer. It was funny because when this game came out, I kept saying, oh, I cannot wait until like October and November when it's not super hot outside and I can go play this game. You know, without fucking having a bucket of sweat poured on my head. But now <laughs> that November is here, I'm just like, not, I'm not about, I'm not even about this game that much anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still am playing. I still am. But, I don't know. The Halloween update. 
Oh my God, I wanted to suck Niantic's dick. That shit was bumping, boy. People were out like it was July again playing this game. I saw so many people playing this game and I was like, hell yes, Niantic. You guys, see, they know how to get people playing this game again if they want to. But then they do dumb shit like, we all know what they've done. Taking away the tracker and fucking GPS drifting, which gets all minor, which annoys me. And all the shit that they've done that annoyed me, they kind of made up for it with this Halloween update. And it was bumping. I caught like, I don't know how many Gastlys. I have over 700 Gastly candies. I have an evolved one because I caught a Gengar. And I was like, I don't even really want to evolve one now. Like, I'm, I'm not going to use him in a gym. I'm not going to put him in a gym. If I fight with him, I'm just going to fight with the one that I caught. Because it, it was a good CP and, you know, all right moves. I'm not going to evolve one, though. I might, but not right now. Um, Meow, I was catching a lot of. Um, Marowak and Cubone, I was catching a lot of, you know. Um... But the best part about that whole update was the candy. Double candy. Hello. I hatched a Grimer. Or, yeah, a Grimer. My first Grimer. I got 30 fucking candies from that Grimer. I was like, damn, all right. I'll, I only needed 20 more. So what did I do? I made him my buddy and I walked. And I got the four times, the four times the candy from the walking. And I got a um, muck in no time. And I know those are like kind of rare, rare. Because apparently there's like no Grimer nest anywhere anywhere in the world or something. So I was really lucky to get that. Um, the only thing is I, w I would like to power him up. Like his bar can go so far. But the candy, now that the Halloween update is over and it's back to 3k per one candy, I just am not going to be able to, um, I'm not going to be able to um, power him up. <laughs> unless the nest happens or unless I get another one from an egg. Um, but can we just talk though? I'm level 31 and I do not have an Aerodactyl. I do not have a Lapras. I do not have a Porygon. Uh, I barely have a Dragonite. I'm embarrassed to talk about the Dragonite that I have. Um, I don't have a lot of shit <laughs> for level 31. I would love a Lapras. Love a Lapras, but... <coughs> I so rarely get 10k eggs, and when I do, it's like a pincer or a fucking scyther. And I want to fucking use scyther's blade and just slip my fucking neck off. Like, why are those <laughs> Why are those in 10k eggs? Apparently, they got rid of the Eevees being in uh, 10k eggs, which is good. But I didn't really get... I mean, like I said, I probably... in The whole time I've been playing Pokemon Go, I probably have, like, six 10k eggs... Because I never buy incubator incubators. I just keep the free one that I get. Maybe I should make an effort to like hatch more eggs or something. It is a good way to get Stardust, which is useful. Um, but yeah, that's really just my Pokemon Go shit right now. I'm working on... Um, this is actually my third RK9. But... He has good IVs. It's like an 89, I think. And the good move set. So I'm going to power him up. I got enough candies. There's a Growlithe nest up the way. Um, at the same place where the Growlithe nest was before. It's a Growlithe nest again, which I'm not complaining about. Although I would love a Charmander nest. Still don't have a Charmeleon. I fought my first... I fought my first Charmander... Or Charizard. Like the other day in a gym. The first one I have ever seen <laughs> in any gym. No one around here has Charizard. I know they're common, I guess, in like California and like England. But like I said, I'm level 31 and I just fought my first Charizard. They're, no, they're not around here. But thanks to the Halloween update, I now have 112 candies. only need 13 more to evolve, but I still don't have any that have good IVs. So it might be... It might be um, 2017 before before I get the Charizard but you know what that's cool because I'll appreciate it more and that was my uh, starter Charmander was my starter so it'll be like very sentimental when I like evolve him but um yeah I just wanted to make this video to say that I fucking voted 
I got my black ass out there and I fucking voted, bitches. I know people are watching this probably going, oh, this fucking nigger thinks he can fucking do something about the country. Yeah, bitch. I fucking do.